um, today I'm going to be showing you my Chanel inspired nail design. Um, I have aptly named these my Chanel's and um, they're really easy, super cute. Um, as you can see on my accent nails, I've added these little um, steel, they're actually steel beads. They don't have holes in them, they're just little steel balls. Um, you can get them from a lot of nail art suppliers online. I believe I got mine from bornprettystore.com, um, but I'll have more um, info on where you can get these. So, since I've already done my nails, I'm just going to be using this um, false nail to show the design. Um, because I did these on my natural nails, so I wanted to show you that you can you can do this just as easy on a false nail. So I've already given these nails a coat of white, just one thin coat. If it's really streaky, go to um, this one's a little bit streaky, but it's not that bad. So I just I'm going with one, and I just used my um, bright white by French Tip Dip but any white polish will work. Um, and then I'm going to apply one thin coat, um, usually it ends up being two coats total, of um, Sit Under the Apple Tree by OPI. And it's a very sheer, shimmery green, like a green apple color, but has lots and lots, as you can see, of gold in it. And on the nail, it looks more gold than green, like out in the daylight. Um, it's a very, very pretty color. Any sheer, shimmery color will work. Um, I pr would suggest staying in the, like, a champagne range of colors. Um, <clears throat> just because we're using, you know, golds and things like that. So, just going to apply a very thin layer of that. See, it's very sheer, but very sparkly. I love this color. This is Bling Dynasty, and this is another OPI. It's a very, um, sparkly gold but it's a very like antiqued gold um, it's a very very pretty color but I'm going to be also adding um, glitter on top of it so because you know they're Chanel nails we want them super super fun and funky and blingy <laughs> so I'm gonna take my gold and I'm gonna come across the tip at an angle okay you can make this angle as sharp as you'd like um, you can make it whatever angle you want okay and then as always cap your free edge and there you go super easy take um, this is a two-way nail art pen and brush um, I got these at bornprettystore.com. This is just gold glitter. Nothing super special about it. Um, except for it shows up pretty good. <laughs> so I'm going to... It's a really... It's pretty thick. Which can be a downside. But... I really like these glitters. So... Apply one to two coats of the glitter, whatever you uh, see fit. I mean, if you would like more, um, more glitter, go for it. Otherwise, it's fine the way it is. I'm also going to be using a, sh a glittery, kind of shimmery polish. Um, this one is from French Tip Dip and it's called Bay of Angels number 128 um, it has gold and green reflex in it and, um, any sort of sheer shimmery glittery polish will work in fact there's one by Sally Hansen 
diamond strength that's called I think engagement ring that's really pretty um, but I like this because it has both the green and the gold tone so it kind of ties the whole look together and while it might not show up that well on camera um, out in person it's beautiful so we're gonna put a coat of that on the entire nail and again it's gonna be really subtle on camera but I can definitely see it and you can already kind of see that there's a little bit more twinkle a little bit more sparkle to the nail I've got my dotting tools um, these are from I got these ones on eBay but they have the exact same set on bornprettystore.com <clears throat> and they have really good shipping rates so I would suggest going through them if you can so um, I'm going to use the yellow one, the yellow dotting tool in the five piece kit. And again, this is the exact same kit that they sell on Born Pretty. So um, use the, the yellow dotting tool. And we're just going to go along our line here. And make some dots. Pretty easy. So here's some black acrylic paint right out of the little um, bottle thing. Um, I'm just going to wet my brush a little bit. Dip in. Give a little, make sure it's where I want it. <clears throat> and I'm going to start with one like a thin like an outline I just want the outline for now And so it's as easy as just dotting, kind of dotting in two C's. I'm just mapping out where they're going to go. Is that completely centered? No. Does it have to be? I don't think so. If you want it to be centered, then great. <laughs> I'm not too concerned about it. So now that I have it mapped out where I want it to be, we're going to make it a little darker. Okay, so we finished our C. And if this was, um, if you just wanted to leave it like this, you absolutely could. What you would want to do is take that um, sparkly polish that we used before we did our, our logo and put it right over top of it. What I have used on these accent nails are these little steel beads. On the camera these look pretty large. I assure you they are not. This is the tip of one of my fine point detail brushes. This line here on my paper is a pencil line. Okay? I just want you to see that for reference and I'm going to pick up a color that I know you'll be able to see. Let's see. Let's try this bright pink. All right. It is smaller than the pencil line and fits on the tip of my brush as like a little teeny tiny tiny bead. Okay, so what I'm going to do <coughs> is get a clear polish. Any clear polish will work. I like ones that are not fast dry because I need time to lay these down 
I'm going to go over my logo, wet the tip of my brush, and start placing beads on the logo. This is particularly handy if you didn't have a completely steady hand and your C logo is a little jacked up. You can kind of disguise that with the beads. Avoid that. I'm just going to take my clear polish. A nice thin clear polish works best. I'm just going to drop it on the design to kind of seal it. And I'm going to put, you can put just one, you could put like a little cluster of beads. That would be really cute. These beads are so tiny and I love them. So <clears throat> there is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really hope that you try this look. It works as you can see on false nails and real nails. See, natural nails, false nails, whatever. It's a really, really fun look. It's great. I love it. Um, yeah. So thank you again for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. And let me know what you think of my Chanel nails, or as I like to call them, my Chanel's. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Bye.